Toei, I guess, just dropped a banger One Piece episode. I'm talking about one of the best episodes you will see animation-wise, story-wise, even adapted some of the cover story in regards to Aokiji and them pulling up Aokiji and Van Auger pulling up on Whole Cake Island. Fantastic episode. Once you reaction on the channel, it's linked below. If you want to see reaction on Patreon, it's linked below as well. Absolute gas pack. That's all I can say. Now, the thing is, this episode spurred a lot of conversation in regards to Blackbeard. I was like, yo, I got to talk to the guys about this. I got to talk to the fam. Because I'm, I don't know what side I'm on, actually. There's actual evidence, I think, for both sides as to why one may happen and one or the other might not. Either way, I want to talk about it. So, in the episode, right, just give me you guys some context. In the episode, they gave Blackbeard a advanced conquerors or so i thought they gave him the red lightning you know the red lightning that's typically attributed to people that had conquerors or advanced conquerors rarely used it shanks used it i believe luffy's used red lightning before now they had blackbeard using it and that was in the preview but now in the episode it shows that not only blackbeard was using it law was also using it so people are saying yo law has congress hockey blackbeard has congress hockey and i'm like whoa 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 slow down the anime has been very wrong before look at x drake and hawkins very wrong before but they've confirmed some things before it even happened the anime had zoro using congress hockey or inklings of congress hockey before it was confirmed in the manga to be honest i don't know if the anime actually knows anything or if they're just taking their own liberties to just hey this red lightning looks dope let's just use it for hockey going forward i mean law powering up in the episode it looks like he was about to go kaioken i mean it's just red lightning everywhere and law just converted his entire crew back to normal it was insane it was sick so i don't think this is an indication or a confirmation rather that blackbeard has conquered hockey because law is actually using it i don't see law i don't think law has conquered hockey considering law has been with the crew for uh, like five arcs bro not once did Oda say Law has Congress hockey. Not once did Law show any semblance of Congress hockey. Law just doesn't have that spirit in my opinion. Okay, this doesn't undermine the video, but this adds a lot of context in regards to another video that we talked about. This video is talking about Blackbeard having Congress hockey and the distinction in regards to the anime. But this update, I think, is important because a lot of people were upset at the conversation I had with Eric Talato, who is an animator that worked on One Piece episode 1093. But it seems like people does respect Eric because it was his debut and they're undermining his perspective because he's saying, don't take it too seriously. Animators are just having fun. Well, here I present Vincent Chansard. And Vincent Chansard is a French animator. And while you're listening to this, I'll be posting some of his amazing work. He's worked on some of the best of the best and is considered one of the best current animators in Shonen period or animators period. He was on Twitter and he answered a question. He showed his clip of things he worked on. He helped worked on in 1093. I'll show it as well. Absolutely insane. He worked on a Blackbeard versus Law sequence, but they asked the question as an animator, did Blackbeard and Law use Congress hockey? As this is a huge debate at the moment. Chansard responds by saying, Huh? I'm neither the director nor a spokesperson, but as a One Piece fan and an animator, to me, there was no Congress hockey used. To me, Blackbeard probably has it, but he didn't use it here. I rechecked the original SB and there was no mention of Congress hockey. Usually, as far as I'm concerned, we use black for Congress hockey. Monkey D. Chris replied, usually use black? So what about Rayleigh and Shanks scenes? Just confused. Someone says it means they were just using regular hockey. Monkey D. Chris says, the fuck is regular hockey? Mr. Marco says, Armament hockey. Then JJ Ken Joria says, Then how the f did Shanks Wi Fi hockey Aramaki with Armament hockey? Pinu the Goat says, More of director choices. The same director who used the red color hockey used it on Shanks too. They're probably different, but directors aren't power scalers. <laughs> so here's my thing they're basically saying what Blackbeard used was not Congress hockey at all. No indication, but we're just gonna mix the red in there to show that he's using regular hockey in conjunction with Whitebeard's Devil Fruit. I think there was a much better way of showing that, especially not using the color red. You could use any other color to show the distinction but to use red the thing that we saw two prominent conquerors hockey users use when they were displaying it which we knew they were showing it do you guys understand now when we have the conversation saying okay let's slow our roll when we talk about canon choices in the anime we can't even agree on what hockey is being used and again shout out to vincent chanzart one of the best currently animating but he's saying yo there was no mention of congress hockey in the manga so no i don't think he's using congress hockey it's just regular hockey this shit is confusing so i just want to say guys chill out now the upcoming video we're just talking about blackbeard and whether or not he has congress hockey but i had to preface it because chances are just rule it out saying no there's no congress hockey there but let's talk about it either way <laughs> this is just funny though like, I think he has determination, but I don't think he has the qualities of a king necessarily. Like, he doesn't mind allying with Luffy voluntarily. It's not like Kid, which is like, he was reluctant. He's like, bro, it came down to it. He really didn't want to do it. The conversation now is, does Blackbeard have advanced conquerors or conquerors hockey in general, or does he not? 
Now, again, the conversation was spurred in the comment section, just talking about it. People had both sides, where a lot of people were saying, Blackbeard doesn't have the qualities of a king. He has the will of a coward. He's not a conqueror. He does not have that portrayal. And for me, I'm kind of on both sides. So first off, what is Conqueror's Hawking? What is Advanced Conqueror's? Advanced Conqueror's is still a bit vague because Oda hasn't necessarily explained it all the way. But what we know, this is just harnessing Conqueror's Hockey and using it to attack, to defend, whatever. It is a power bump. And so far, right now, the biggest power bump in the series and it seems to be something that is attributed to the top of the top meaning if you have advanced conquerors you are one of the best kaido pretty much confirmed it only some of the very few strongest right not just some of the very few the very few strongest can use advanced conquerors hockey so it is one of those abilities that you can say has completely changed the meta where if you have advanced conquerors you're regularly going to get the benefit of the doubt right so that's why sanji versus zoro zoro gets the edge rob luchi versus zoro zoro gets the edge or rob luchi versus yamato people with advanced conquerors you're going to get a, a slight bump considering what it seems to mean to the story now conquerors hockey in general because that is first needed right before you get advanced conquerors is the qualities of a king what are the qualities of a king it's like we're going back to one piece grade school but it's because we've gotten so far from the basics sometimes you need to go back to the basics to understand what's advanced so what are the qualities of a king what did Rayleigh say Rayleigh said this is the power to overwhelm he literally says most people who have made a name for themselves they have that power right so it's kind of something that chicken or the egg right were you destined to make a name for yourself did you make a name for yourself because you had Conqueror's Hockey. Did you get Conqueror's Hockey because you were supposed to make a name for yourself? There's a very vague even explanation there. But he also says it's the embodiment of the spirit of the user because you can't train it directly. It kind of grows as you grow stronger. So with that explanation, it is somewhat like, okay, we're not really sure exactly still what it is because- I mean, that could be anything. That could be so many different people. And again, it's not as concrete. It is, again, a very chicken versus the egg argument where a lot of people are now starting to think people sometimes aren't born with it. They could unlock it based on the type of person they become, which I think makes kind of more sense. But that's not what the story tells us. The story is telling us you have to unlock it. Now, this is not specifically say that it is genetic. I mean, that's a perspective of Garp per se, but Rayleigh didn't state that. To me personally, I think it would make a lot more sense if somebody grew up, right? And have conquerors hockey, they develop a certain will, their disposition, and then all of a sudden they unlocked it. But then people could say they were always born with it. So I don't know. It's vague. That's really a question that Oda got to answer. I don't know if he ever will saying, hey, is conquerors hockey something that you have to be born with? Or can you unlock it? It's a very difficult argument because you cannot directly train it. So you have to have these things innately. But my thing is, can you develop those things over time? But something that's clear to me is that the qualities of a king is vague. Because think about all the current characters that have Conqueror's Hockey. Yeah, you could say they have the qualities of a king, but do they really? Sengoku, he's a Marine. Katakuri, he was an underling. Yamato, I guess. Don Chen Zhao, I guess. Kid, I mean, I think that's the main thing. Their spirit. Someone like Marco. I don't think he has Conqueror's Hockey because his spirit isn't built that way. But again, you have to be born with it seemingly, but I don't think Marco would ever have it. His spirit just doesn't move me that way. Law as well. Not saying it's only a personality thing because you can have that type of personality and not have it. However, that's something seemingly that is similar in most of these characters. Luffy, Kid, Kaido, Odin, Whitebeard, Roger. But your spirit, does Blackbeard have the will, the spirit to be that. Well, let's examine Blackbeard for a second. He is looked at as a coward, an opportunist, someone that goes the easy route, doesn't fight battles he can't win. And people are saying that's not how a king operates. Let me ask you guys this. Blackbeard pulling up to impel down. Most cowards wouldn't do that. If Usopp had the option, as far as like, hey, do you want to stay home or go to impel down? Would Usopp go? No. If Usopp had the option. Hey, do you want to go to Marine Ford while everyone is there and get something? No. If Usopp had the option, hey, do you want to wait for one of these people to take their devil fruits and their poneglyphs? Not really. So I think Blackbeard isn't a coward necessarily. An opportunist, I agree. Cowardly? No. I think he's a true pirate. He takes those opportunities how they come. But I don't think a coward would pull up to Marineford. He pulled up to Marineford to take Whitebeard's devil fruit. And he was willing to fight any and everyone. Until Shanks shows up, which is, I think that says more about Shanks. Here's one of those things as well. Something that Blackbeard talked about when Luffy pulled up and impelled down back in the pre-time skip was that Luffy's hockey had grown, meaning his spirit has grown. How are you so aware of that? It seems like something he was privy to. And Blackbeard, something that they said back in the day, I want you guys to pay attention to this. Back in the flashback, the Odin flashback, when we saw the, the battle between the White Bear Pirates and the Roger Pirates. Shanks and Buggy said, yo, this guy is weird. He does not sleep now something that struck out to me it came to me when i was tired so don't don't even take it seriously but don't take it seriously but i was like one of the hardest things to fight in life is sleep you ever been tired like seriously you ever been seriously tired 
You know how hard it is to stay awake, right? You gotta have insane will. And I'm partially joking, but I think that has something to play with Blackbeard's will and his spirit. Has Blackbeard gotten to the point that he has an indomitable spirit where he can overcome even sleep? Something to consider. So let's talk about both sides, right? In regards to Blackbeard not having it, it's simple. He's a coward. He doesn't want to fight people straight up. He cries. He whines. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with how Blackbeard approaches things. Situations matter. I have goals. Why would I fight really when we know he's strong? Boy Hancock already has two of my crewmates. Ah, this is this doesn't matter. This this isn't worth it. Akainu, I mean, he's the big magma goat. That's a problem. Shanks, strongest in the series currently. That's a problem. Most people are turning back. That's why I don't understand why Green Bull gets as much shit as he gets. Green Bull said, I'm not going to fight Shanks and his entire crew. They're too much right now. And not only fighting Shanks and his entire crew, fighting the alliance that's remaining. The Straw Hats were still there. But people shit on Green Bull for saying, nah, I'm cool. I understand how it was done. It, was, it looked cowardly, but he pulled up, bro. I think the true coward in the story is Usopp. Blackbeard has not shown me that. Yeah, he doesn't have integrity. Not the best person. Not the best crewmate. Coward? Hell no. I don't see that. When I see somebody pull up to Marine Ford and say, yo, this is my age in the middle of it? That doesn't scream coward to me. Not at all. But I'm not going to dismiss how people feel about it, saying, yo, Blackbeard's a coward. That's how I view it. That's why I don't think you have conquered hockey. What about Katakuri? One could say he was a coward for never showing his face and being embarrassed of it or being ashamed of being talked about or just being ridiculed or how it impacted other people. Is that cowardice? What about Doflamingo running from Sudo the entire time? Is that, does that, does that make him a coward? Or even sweating at the mention of Kaido? Does that make him a coward? Or even attacking civilians and taking an entire country from people who didn't have the ability to defend themselves? Of course, because of him, does that make him a coward? I want to see you take double the pain for every attack you take and see how many fights you'd be willing to jump into. If I was taking double the pain for every fight, I would avoid fighting fighting as much as possible because i know you know what no matter what unless i one shot this person this shit gonna hurt <laughs> what about whitebeard whitebeard ran from everyone ran from the marines didn't want to go to wano didn't want to go after blackbeard is he a coward also adding to this side is the fact that blackbeard already has two devil fruits presumably he would have three people are saying does he really need it he has three fruits or he will have three fruits advanced conquerors as well how will luffy have a chance in my opinion that's valid that seems overwhelming even with luffy having a god fruit that can manipulate anything that seems like a lot now to the side about blackbeard having it i mentioned sleep before somewhat joking but think about this blackbeard looking for the yami yami no mi waited on whitebeard's ship for decades he had the will to withstand and stay on that ship as an underling looking for something for decades he has the patience of a monk which every day that passes by i don't find his devil fruit while still having the will to move on or push forth but not only that i think there's something interesting about blackbeard taking the chance to eat two devil fruits that takes a lot of balls but something interesting that i saw after looking up again how shoku and will and the spirit of the user blackbeard sometimes seems like two different people i'm not gonna lie yes he went to whitebeard fought him he lost please don't kill me then after that he gets his devil fruit he stands up and he's like yo this is my age we know his body's weird he doesn't sleep he has a saber of zebec what if he has the will of zebec because it's about the spirit of the user so for blackbeard at times his original spirit wants to run away but then he also inhabits the spirit of zebec the will of zebec which sometimes leads to him getting into these encounters which is like i don't care also if he has the spirit of zebec could he also inherit Conquers hockey? Crazier things have happened. Luffy died and came back stronger <laughs> with a god fruit. Here's my final verdict. I think Blackbeard will have it. I think Oda using him to mention hockey all the way back in the Impo Down. I think just because he's one of the top guys going forward, more than likely the final villain. I'm going to talk about after Emu. I know it's a conversation and I'll talk about that at some point. I think he will have it. Why not? Yes, it seems overwhelming, but that's what we want for a final villain, right? Overwhelming. Where it's like, yo, this is impossible. Blackbeard with three fruits and advanced Conquers hockey? <sighs> Luffy, what are you going to do? So that's what I'm saying. That's what I think. I don't think Toei actually knows anything. I think they're just like throwing stuff at the wall. Like, this looks cool. Let's do it. But I do think he has it. But give me your thoughts. What do you guys think? Will Blackbeard have conquered hockey? Will he not? Again, link in the description for the reaction on, on the reaction channel and on Patreon. Um, And give me your thoughts as well. Like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.